I was just going to say, from your own work, where have you seen, using this satellite imagery, the biggest change happening? Is there a part of the world, something you've been studying, where you've seen mm. the very biggest impact over, time, over recent time? I mean, you see population pressure developing in Central Africa. Um, I've worked in Uganda, and you certainly see this massive explosion in the population in villages, and my work's been on water quality. So I've used the satellite image to track the growth, because there are no, no decent survey uh, censuses, but you can track the growth of, of village populations, and you see very big changes there. I mean, I know m most about the water environment, and you do see huge changes going on in the way humans are using the water environment. Um, but, of course, vegetation, which I haven't said so much about today, is also big changes um, going on. In the water environment, um, I think one of the things that this has served to demonstrate is that the human impact now is very widespread on the water environment, and water security has become an international issue for us. So people are now concerned that so much red is appearing in agricultural, on those false colour uh, images in, in agricultural settings that we are exhausting fossil groundwaters, for example. And so there are big issues around that. Um, but it's a, that's a, again, it's a very good question and I, do, I don't know the answer to it overall. I mean, we're only starting to see this technology really kicking in now, I think, um, and, and, its, and its capabilities in terms of resolution, spectral bands and frequency, you know, it's only just starting to be uh, appreciated, I think. And it is very democratic. You can go at home now and you can look at some of this stuff yourself. So, you know, it, it's also opening up the possibility of what, uh, what is now becoming called citizen science. And that's going to be a subject of a later talk this year, actually.